Hey friends, welcome to the Scrap Trawlers channel where we do EDH on a budget. Today we're giving you something a little bit different. It's our very first video deck tech. So leave a comment down below and let us know what you think. For all Scrap Trawlers decks, our budget is $50 or less. Excluding the commander and basic lands. And today we're going to look at the deck I built for Scrap Trawlers Episode 3. Kess, Dissident Mage. Kess is a 3-4 human wizard with flying, and during each of our turns we can cast one instant or sorcery card from our graveyard. Then if that card would go to the graveyard, it gets exiled instead. So how are we going to win with Kess, Dissident Mage? The name of the game here is Big Spells That Cause A Lot Of Pain. Peer Into The Abyss is a great way to drain somebody's life. It's likely that you'll draw them into some of their best cards, but most of those cards will end up in their graveyard in the next cleanup step. Most budget decks aren't likely to be running Reliquary Tower or Thought Vessel effects, because they're usually too costly. But if they are running no hand sized cards, maybe hold on to this one, or even use it on yourself if you're desperate for cards in the late game. Maddening Cacophony skips the drawing and life loss and just tosses those cards straight into the yard, and it hits all opponents. For a backup, we're running Traumatize as well, which only mills one player, but is still very effective. Another great big spell in the deck is Din of the Fire Herd. Cast this baby and watch as your opponent sacrifice their creatures and lands, leaving you in a much better position. None of these spells by themselves is going to seal the deal, but with Kess, we get to cast them all twice. Oh, and we're also going to copy them too. Repeated Reverberation gives us two copies of the next instant or sorcery spell we cast. Double Vision copies the first instant or sorcery we cast each turn. The Mirari Conjecture will copy all the instants and sorceries we cast for a turn when it hits the third stage. And Ral, Storm Conduit, will copy our spells for his minus two ability. So imagine casting Maddening Cacophony, kicked and copied twice. Each opponent mills half their library three times. Let's say they're at 80 cards in their library. The first will bring them down to 40, the second will bring them to 20, the third brings them to 10, then you simply use Kess to recast Cacophony from your graveyard, which will mill them all for 8, leaving them with 2 cards left in their libraries. You can recast Repeated Reverberation from your graveyard with Kess as well. So cast that with double vision on the battlefield. Your next instant or sorcery will be copied four times, giving you five copies of the spell to resolve. Try this with Din of the Fireherd. If you have no other creatures, the first copy causes an opponent to sacrifice a creature and a land. The second causes an opponent to sacrifice two creatures and two lands, and so on. All right, I know what you're thinking. That all sounds like it costs a lot of mana. Yeah, it definitely does. And this deck does take a while to get to a win, but we've got plenty of cards to ramp us into extra mana. We've got Rocks Galore with Arcane, Demir, Izzet, and Rakdos Signet. We've also got Soul Ring, Soul Ring's Ugly Cousin, Worn Power Stone, Commander's Sphere, and Mana Geode. In addition to the rocks, we've got some cards that make our spells cheaper, like Goblin Electromancer and Arcane Melee. It's also important that we keep the cards flowing, or we'll run out of gas really quick. We've got a few enchantments, like Betrayal, always great to throw on an opponent's mana dork, Firemind's Research, which doubles as a damage threat, and Secrets of the Dead, which draws us a card whenever we cast a spell from our graveyard. Then we've got plenty of instants and sorceries for card draw, including Faithless Looting, Thrill of Possibility, Blood Price, Preordain, and Silundi Vision. We've also got Allure of the Unknown, which is a great political card, Brainstorm, Moonlight Bargain, and Covenant of Minds, as well as See the Truth, which is an all-star in this deck since we'll be able to cast it from the graveyard and get three cards for just two mana. And Diabolic Tutor gets us whatever card we need the most. Every EDH deck should have ways of taking out your opponent's threats. Baron's Spite and Run Away Together take out two for the price of one. Do or Die can potentially take out several of one player's creatures, so we'll want to aim that at someone who's filled their board. 
Soul Shatter takes out each opponent's highest costing creature or planeswalker. We've also got Poison the Cup, a new favorite of mine from Kaldheim. Rakdos Charm will take out an artifact, but those other two modes can also be really valuable at the right time. There's also Unsubstantiate and Wizard's Retort. We're also packing some mass removal spells with River's Rebuke, Extinction Event, Hour of Devastation, and Budget All-Star in Garrick's Wake. The last section here is very important. Because we're running so few creatures, it's crucial that we have ways to protect ourselves and our strategy. Ether Eyes and Illusionist Gambit will help us out if we're staring down an oncoming army. Polymorphist's Jest will also help with this, or shut down creature abilities for a turn. There's also Wrong Turn for diverting an oncoming threat or dealing with a creature with too much synergy in an opponent's deck. And last, we have Stunning Reversal, which can buy us another turn if we're about to be wiped out. There you have it friends, my budget cast dissident mage deck. Thank you for watching. You can find the link for the full deck list down in the notes below. Leave us a comment, let us know what you think. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And be sure to catch us streaming every Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Central at twitch.tv slash scrap trawlers. Take care everyone.